Hello again and welcome back. Um, today I thought I would have a look at cleaning up an old power supply so you can use it in a computer or rather how not to clean a power supply. I'm not entirely sure how you're meant to clean a power supply but it's probably not this way. Anyway, um, I bought a 520 watt really old Corsair power supply from eBay. It only cost me £20, £4 postage. And um, it was a bit manky when it turned up. Well, it was a bit manky in the uh, in the picture on eBay as well. So I thought I would take it to pieces and give it a bit of a clean out because otherwise, just imagine the noise from the fan. It would be horrendous. Uh, and also, it hadn't been tested, so uh, I needed to test it as well. So this is the the journey of uh, cleaning out a power supply with probably completely the wrong tools. Um, no idea what I'm doing, and, um, well, I say that, I mean, I've done this with another three old HX power supplies, and they're all working fine. There's one in this computer now. Um, but, yeah, so, here we go. Well, as you can see, the fan on this is absolutely hideous, and that needs a thorough brushing, and the inside of the unit is also pretty much full of fluff. So, no idea where this has been used. I'm guessing it was probably somebody had it directly above a carpet on a case with no feet. And it was just sucking up fibres. Anyway, this is how I clean up fans. Just get an old toothbrush. Run it round. Get rid of everything. Nice and clean. And then the main unit itself, full of all of its fluff. Again, the trusty toothbrush. Just getting rid of all the surface stuff that it can get to. And then an old paint brush for doing models. Just to get into all the nooks and crannies. Now, this is, you probably recognise it if you've ever gone camping, this is for inflating an inflatable mattress. And I'm using the smallest nozzle to get a decent blow of air. And as you can see, it does really, 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 really well. I've had a look at how much uh, proper computer vacuum compressor type things cost and they're ridiculous. One of these, what, like 10, 15 pounds? Probably you've already got one. But um, yeah, it does a great job. Occasionally get stuck. Now, just trying to get out some of the more stubborn dust bunnies. Right, time to put it all back together again. Try and snake the cable back into the uh, spot down there in the corner. Probably not advisable to use pliers in a power supply like I do it, but um, I kind of figure it hasn't been used for a while, so I doubt it has any residual charge left in its capacitors. Just using the paintbrush to nudge the uh, the fan back into place so I can then screw it in. Now what I didn't notice was that one of the smaller screws is currently magnetized to the outside of my screwdriver. And Oh, there it goes. Eh, we'll come back for that later. Anyway. And these small screws to hold it into the chassis. Or rather, to hold the chassis altogether. And then the last screw... 
There it is. See? Completely professional. There we are. All nice and tightened up. Um, I think we can call this, air quotes, reconditioned. Or something. Right, next thing to do is find a computer you don't mind blowing up, just in case it does blow up. And in this case, I'm going to be using my old Core 2 Duo system, which is pretty much only ever used for testing power supplies. So, just uh, plugging in the main power connectors. Mains power into the unit. And then I'd also like to see whether or not the serial ATA power works as well, so found myself a donor DVD drive to test. And we've got power. The system is whirring to life. DVD drive is ejecting. Nothing has exploded so far. Let's just see how quiet it is now I've got rid of all of that stuff. Now this is with me having put the volume up 200%. Meanwhile, let's see what the sound of the fans inside the case are. A lot louder. Just to be sure. Hooray! Right, £24. Not at all bad. These power supplies are rock solid. And this is going to last for a goodly while longer. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. See you in the next one.